a Silk Road, a China Road, is opening up uh, in Sibing. And I would just like to ask you uh, as to what effect this may have, both in Sibing uh, on a worldwide scale, as well as in banking, as in seeking finance. The One Belt, One Road project, which is basically, uh, as uh, we all understand, funded and pushed by China, is a project which basically links China to Europe via, uh, via land, on a land-based road, as well as a, a seaway. So, because for these roads, these seaways and these roads, we will gonna have certain hubs and certain ports that will become centers of trade for China and transshipments. Uh, we are already seeing a huge development and investment in specific areas like East Africa, Pakistan, Greece, Venice, which uh, will basically spark further investment in down the line as soon as the project materializes and further infrastructure within the country is needed to support the ports. Is there a landmark point uh, where these investments will actually be realized? Uh, you mean geographically or you mean... Uh, as in time. As in time. Actually, this has already started. It has started in different places, in different, uh, in different basically levels. One very good example close to here, Athens, is the uh, Piraeus port, the container port terminal, which has already been uh, leased by uh, Costco, and now the Piraeus port, which has, uh, they have a major stake, as well as the port of Gadar in uh, Pakistan, which is on the first phase of its development. What should be the opportunities, if you like, for further investments, provided that the Chinese will seek to open up new roads, either by sea or by land, um, and the uh, risk that may actually rise from it? The opportunities, I'll call them, a spill, it's going to be like a spillover effect. Because once you invest in one area, let's say the port of Gadar, it was basically in the middle of nowhere, a port has now started to be developed and will be further developed by a huge fund of 46 billion US dollars. You cannot have a port in the middle of nowhere. You need further developments in the infrastructure of, of the country in order to support the, the terminal, to create residential areas and so forth and so forth. That creates opportunities for specific investments which support the main hub of Gadar, as an example. Now, in terms of the risks, of course, there's always risk in investment. And I would quote the biggest risk, in my opinion, which is the geopolitics. Currently, we're undergoing a new shift in global relationships. And if we see also what happened with the Trans-Pacific Agreement, where the EUS clearly said via its president that it's not a good deal and they're going to drop out, uh, you can never predict and I can I will put a higher risk in this project as far as the geopolitics are concerned actually. Now obviously you're actually the region Southeast Europe and Middle East uh, director but uh, more specifically regarding Greece how do you think this investment uh, will actually be uh, further uh, developed? I am positive about the things that are happening in Piraeus port. Uh, we've seen the last uh, years what happened to the Piraeus container and terminal. And uh, through the Costco's fixed commitment, many things have happened. The port has been upgraded and now big ships like 14,000 TU container ships are arriving in the port, which creates, of course, more opportunities for infrastructure like the train line connecting the port and the northern uh, borders and so forth. If the same thing happens to Piraeus Port, which Costco has committed to also on the same things, and they have a specific eye on the repair facilities uh, at Perama area, then uh, I am optimistic that we will see also a further development and, if you may will, resurrection, if I may use the word, of certain uh, activities in parts of Piraeus and Greater Athens where they had died out. The whole project of the China uh, shipping transportation, if you like, how much does it worth? Uh, there is a fund, uh, this one belt, one road. Uh, the data that we have basically are quoting that there are three different sources of finance that they amount currently today to about uh, 240 billion US dollars. I'm, I believe that this will be relatively elastic and depending on how the projects will progress, this will reduce or increase. A couple of notes and comments about the Capital Link event. Very happy to see a lot of people uh, gathering and I have to be honest and say that it's a full, uh, full house event. And uh, personally I like also the networking thing which happens also outside the main event. Thank you. Thank you.